Hey there, gang. We've talked in great detail about how to protect your clear coat. We've talked about from waxes all the way up to ceramic coatings. We're going to go a step further and talk about paint protection films. Here at uh, Apex, we install SunTech, Lumar, and Expel. Today, we have an Expel installation and a uh, ceramic coating to boot. We've already done a two-step correction. I'm going to go into the subject in greater detail down the road. This is just going to be a quick overview today, so let's take a look. Okay, the correction is complete, a two-stage correction. It has been stripped of wax. We use strippies or you use an IP solution. It has been bathed. It is ready for the protective film. It has to be perfectly clean and lint free before application. There was some love marks, some swirling, some small imperfections. Those are taken care of. It's now pretty much flawless from bumper to bumper. Like I said at the beginning, we'll go into this subject in a little bit more detail in the future, but I'll give you a quick overview. You can buy kits, you can cover the whole car, you can do a portion of the car, the rest of it with a ceramic coating. You can film it and then put a ceramic coating on top of it. So this kit here, we're doing a hood and fender kit, then we have a bumper kit to do, then we have a rocker kit and mirror kit and door handle kit to do. Uh, it doesn't have door handles, but it has inserts to protect from fingernails. So you need two solutions, a squeegee. The solutions are a slip or a glide solution. So your squeegee can glide over top of the film without scratching it. And it also is a float solution for the film itself as you put it on the surface before you apply the film. So it can float and you can adjust the piece back and forth. And then you can see in the middle here, I'm going to, I like to tack in the middle, tack at the ends, work from the middle out to the ends, get the solution out from underneath it, and let it cure. You want to work out all the bubbles. You want to make sure it's perfectly clean. I'll teach you how to do that. There is a couple different ways to flush the area. Uh, you clean it first, and then you make sure to flush it, get the lint out from underneath from your towel. You want no dust or lint or anything underneath the film before it's laid down on the panel. If you have problems with bubbles or some fingers, lift up the film spray solution underneath and work it back out again if you have to stretch it. They are pliable to a certain extent. If you stretch it too far, it's going to distort the film. There's a, a, a fine line you have to walk there. Now, not having been on this side for a good minute or two, I want to spray the glide solution back on top of the film so the squeegee glides. I also want to lift up the film and spray underneath because you don't want to let the film sit on a surface for more than about four minutes or so without either permanently applying or lifting up and spraying some glide solution under there, or the adhesive may be compromised. So just to work out the solution from the middle out towards the ends, and then wipe off with a clean, soft, dry microfiber. The smaller pieces for the fender kit are a piece of cake. Just spray your glide solution Float the film on top so you can adjust, perfectly align, tack one corner, and squeegee out the solution. The mirrors can be a little more difficult because of the curvature, so I'll lay the film on, I'll put tack solution down towards the base of the mirror, tack it, Stretch it out from there a little bit, nice and firm, and then work out the solution. The 
the inserts for the door switch need to be protected from fingernail scuffing and, and marring. So we have a small piece to go and fit inside there as well. Junior gets the easy part. He gets the perfectly flat rocker panel. We saved the nose piece for last. It can be a bit difficult in the Stingray because of its curvature. You get quite a few fingers you have to work out, but with two of us, we, it works out fine. We'll tack it in the middle, pull it firmly on each end, tack it on each end, work the solution out from there. And that's going to be it. The film cured, the ceramic coating applied on top of the film, and the rest of the car, all painted surfaces, plus the wheel and calipers. And the result is quite astonishing. It's a piece of glass. It's like a mirror. Like I mentioned, I will cover the subject again in more greater detail down the road. The kit we applied is a self-healing film, which means if it has a scuff or a minor defect with a little bit of heat, you'll see that uh, little scratch or that scuff or that defect disappear right in front of your eyes. I'll show you that in the future. Brian from Apex Detail, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. I'll see you in the next video.